Young America Films presents a short that no young American will watch unless someone is making smart-ass commentary over it. A fake educational short film by Eli Roth. Co-directed by legendary filmmaker Lawrence Kansas from Tennessee. <laughs> oh, that mallard Fillmore. You can't stick taxes up there. Pardon me, let me turn down the scotch. I'm Bill Johnson. Around here, they just call me Dad. Daddy is our safe word. I've been trying to read, but I just can't seem to do it. I keep thinking about today. National Literacy Day. We Johnsons had a good Thanksgiving, the best we've ever had. Grandpa Johnson only used the N-word twice. It was a feeling, a real feeling of thankfulness. And that's odd, too, when you consider the shape things were in when I got home from work yesterday. Danny, it scattered my papers all over the floor, and all I tried to do was pull them up. Slight momentary loss of muscular coordination. His kids will. Mine were living tomorrow, right along with today. All their troubles seem so far away. Now they need a place to hide away. It was mother instead of me who had to break the news to them. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Billy, mm, it's speaking to us again. Sing and pie and cake. And fruit salad and whipped cream and cranberries. Gee. And tutti fruits and cracker jacks and big league chew and a bottle of old Harper and a glass of cane sugar. Well, your father and I thought that. Well, the truth of the matter is, there just won't be any turkey this year. Because we want hilarity to ensue, like in the Hoboken chicken emergency. Pumpkin pie, we'll have plenty to eat, but, well, we'll just have to get along without turkey. Mom, you don't mean it. Next thing you're going to tell me, the women will get to vote. Even the pilgrims had a feast. After all, isn't that what Thanksgiving's for? I don't think it's fair. And it was right there that I came in. It seemed like the best time to tell them that Christmas had also been canceled. Hey, Ralph, it's so good to I'm in the wrong house. Dick, Susan? Well, what's been going on around here? Why am I the only one who's five whiskey sliders deep into three in the afternoon? No good thing. A fat lot we're gonna have to be thankful for. Yeah, Dad, you're a loser. I overheard Mom wondering why you can put in 12 hours at work, but can't manage three minutes in the bedroom. Mark's gonna have it this year. Same as always. Yes, we've always had turkey. Just as a lot of Americans have had it, and we'll keep on having it. Oh, well, we look like a family of commies? Ah. But what you kids are saying makes it sound as if the turkey is the only thing we had to be thankful for. Well, gee whiz, no, Dad. It's you? not that at all. Oh, I know, Dick. Father knows turkey, Dick. It's easy to lose sight of what Thanksgiving really means. And don't think we're just making excuses because we don't have any turkey this year. Your father has convinced me that it's all well, my fault. Well, it'll mean a lot more to us the next time we do have it. Well, sure. Suppose we don't have a bang-up feast. We're still a lot better off than the pilgrims. Yeah, <laughs> stupid pilgrims. Yeah, the true victims of the new world. Turkey or no turkey, we've still got all the freedoms and privileges the pilgrims gave us. Except for witch burnings. I've been told that tradition is now frowned upon. Never even dreamed of. Why, we could make a list a mile long. Why don't we do it? And if any of the names are anti-Pilgrim American, we can get them blacklisted from Pilgrim Hollywood. We sure can. Feel it down deep before you can really be thankful for anything. I'll tell you what let's do. And let's take a little more time to think this over. Because I'm not going to remember this after I pass out in five minutes. Your mom is nervous stirring again, isn't she? Your life? Sure. That's one thing you can't get along without. But do you know that there are some places in the world today where you have to get along without just about everything else? Like properly structuring a sentence. I guess I kind of got carried away. I'm sorry you had to see me like this. Cut me a switch, and I'll beat the memories out of you. Be thankful for when we sit down to whatever Mother fixes to eat tomorrow, which will no doubt be garbage. That we'll really have a Thanksgiving dinner. Well, that's how it got started. The Johnsons didn't have any turkey, and thus I created the original first world problems meme. To make something special out of a special day. So we fell back on something as old as the pilgrims. Prostitution. Up the common, ordinary blessings that we had to be thankful for. 
That night, I'd see Dick there building his model airplane. And Oftentimes, I as well daydream about oh, Dick. They weren't just playing. They were mulling things over, thinking big thoughts for such young heads. Let's see, the Pythagorean theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse is equal or opposite of the two sides? Hmm, on second thought, Funky Winker Bean kind of sucks. As you can see, Mother lost the first round of strip Thanksgiving. And then, well, we all knew it. There are some things you just can't say. For instance, why did I agree to so many flowers on the wallpaper and the artwork? I am to think about it. Deal is Secretary Khrushchev. I am thankful for getting plenty to eat all the time. With I don't understand the need to always throw up after dinner. Like Mom says, I'm hungry all the time anyway. And if I didn't live in a country where there was plenty to go around, golly. Fucking language. And I'm thankful for the free public library. Where I can laugh at homeless people and beat them with a bag of money that I then set on fire. The way they tell a story is as good as being there yourself. And it's free with only a library card. Which, according to the internet, the government uses to spy on its middle-class suburban white citizens. And somehow, turkey and trimming seem to matter a whole lot less than he thought they did yesterday. Because he snuck out at three in the morning to steal the turkey from the Salvation Army. Happy-go-lucky kid. You'd never credit her with thinking beyond her dolls. Since she's a woman, you see. I am thankful we have what we need to wear. Mom, um, was that a bulimia joke in the previous prayer? I never thought before how many clothes it takes for all kinds of weather, or how it would be to have to do without the right ones. I can't imagine living in a world of mixing blue jeans with black t-shirts. Or go to any church I want, any Sunday. Except for the Protestants. I'm thankful for my mother and daddy that they are here with us that both of them aren't too worried about things to take time to have fun with us. Like teaching us about grammar. That families are still important in America. I guess Dick, being the oldest, was having some pretty serious thoughts. Dick often has serious thoughts about Dick-oriented Dick activity. And education, for living where schools, all schools, open their doors to a guy who wants to learn. As long as his skin is the same color as Jesus. Burn where a guy is rated by how much he knows, and the community is rated by how well it teaches him. And by the proper size of their family's dicks. Play, batting a ball around once in a while. Dick often marvels at how fun it is playing outdoors with his balls. Up in America. Sure, baby Janet's... I'm running on empty here. Bring mother over to plop out the rum tits. It'll even to tell us the things that make her happy. She's thinking about the time when she gets older and questions why there was a group of men filming her in the bathtub. She's thinking about the fun of splashing around in the tub and about how good it feels to be clean. Oh, this doll was sent to us from Uncle Ed and Aunt Lorraine Warren. She feels in mother's arms. And as for mother, she has no thoughts unless I give them to her. Cooking, ironing, tending children, daylight to dark. Contemplating what's stopping a meeting of the razor blade and the wrists. I am thankful that my children had the privilege of being born safely. An American, and white, and not poor, and Christian, and white again. I am thankful that I have the privilege of guiding them as they become useful men and women. Soon change their name to Cow Sill. And I'm thankful for all the things our American system makes possible for the Smiths and the Browns and the Johnsons. But more so the Smiths and the Johnsons over the Browns. Hot water out of a tap. Ah! and a telephone to call the doctor when one of the family is sick. Yep, the rickets again, and pink eye and the brown eye. I'll be back soon, honey. Gotta meet Woodward and Bernstein in another parking garage. ...can produce. I'm thankful that when my neighbor drops in to borrow a cup of flour, we've got the right to talk about anything we want to. My baby is the black. Your project, the new mayor, or, or Jane Jones hat. <laughs> Yes, they're thankful for you too, Lloyd. I'm truly thankful for the peace of mind. I hope those broads aren't talking about my new hat. For knowing that even though they're all... Yeah, look, Johnson, about the turkey bonus, we decided to send you on with a certificate to the Jelly of the Month Club, and you're fired. 
I'm glad Dad doesn't work slave hours. Because if there's one thing our family can relate to, it's slavery. When we can all be together. That's mother for you. Always passing out at the dinner table, thinking about slavery. And now for me. I've got so many things to be thankful for. Such as a full head of hair and a straightened tie. It may need a coat of paint, it has a mortgage, but it's ours. A place where we can be together in privacy. Where the relatives of the previous owners have never bothered for looking for the bodies. Home, the happiness here, not just today or on Christmas morning, but on a day-to-day -day basis. All It'd Christmas make us happier if we had some turkey instead of popcorn, Dad! Knowing that a knock on our door means nothing to fear. House Committee on Un-American Activities, open up. Or a kid selling magazines. You never know what to expect. We hear your heart of turkeys. It's not going to be some political gangster coming to drag one of us off to jail because we believe in freedom. Questioning our fine government is a treasonous offense in this I'm household. That, that freedom we've got lets me choose the kind of work I like and can do best. But no one would hire me as a graphic designer, so I fix cars. It makes me feel that somebody got to his work, or wherever he had to go, just because of me. And feeling like that gives me a lot of satisfaction. It makes me yet again think of Dick. And I'm thankful for my newspaper. Just a few cents worth of printer's ink and paper. It still seems like too much of an expense to print anything from Charles Krauthammer. The editor's got the privilege of printing what he thinks. And I've got the privilege of agreeing with him or not. For instance, their questionable use of the term legitimate rape. And both of us, the editor and I, have the right to act on our opinions on election day. No son of mine is gonna share water fountains with albinos. And finally, oh right, this is supposed to be about Thanksgiving. Believe, in spite of everything, that somehow, some way, the unity we've got here in the Johnson family Wait, will someday. My son's name is Dick Johnson. For all these things, we are truly and humbly thankful. Amen. Mazel tov. Mother, I don't want you and the neighbors talking about hats anymore. Dick, I'm sorry for the inevitable school beatings. Baby, we'll come up with a name for you sooner or later. Billy, stop fattening your sister. And remember, this is a Nixon household. And that's it. Our baby's name is Checkers.